What about stem cells? We hear so much about stem cells. It's also a very general term that can reply to a lot of very specific cells, right? Yeah. We hear people going down to Panama for this stuff, and there's a lot of, tell us, what should we know about these things? You know, I'm, I have my own opinion on this, but I, I think we're not quite where we think we are with stem cells yet. We just don't, don't really know as much as we, we really need to as far as what they're capable of doing. Now, uh, injecting into some joints and injured areas and things like that, I think they're, they're doing well. The, the IV stem cells, you know, there's been some complications with those. And, you know, whether you use your own stem cells versus you use um, placental or umbilical derived stem cells that are donated, you know, there's, there's differences in outcome with that. And you can potentially have a bad reaction from, from those. Um, I'm just not, I'm not 100% sold on that. And then after that study with the congestive heart failure and the stem cells and the data that was kind of flawed data on okay. that kind of gave it a black eye. I so, didn't hear about that. Was... Yeah, we kind of stepped back and said, okay, let's just wait and see what, what pans out with this. So of the biologics, the stem cells are the ones I'm most leery about at the moment. Like a peptide you feel comfortable with because it's like this small piece of protein that I mean, has this reaction. It's, it's not. It's common sense. Right. It's generally recognized as safe. I mean, you look at it and you say, you know, you could even overdose on some of these peptides and the body will just say, oh, okay, there's something happening that's caused a surge in this. I'm going to ignore it. So, you know, it seems like that the peptides are, are a pretty, pretty good option 